Ay, no, 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 I just want to laugh. I'm an eccentric clown. <laughs> you want a balloon? I'm sorry. I don't have a balloon. I ran out. <laughs> you are a freak. You're a freak too. Why do you say I'm a freak? You're so big. He's tall. His head can hit the ceiling. <laughs> when I what? Can you hug me? Oh. Oh. I get it. Because she's a midget. I'm a midget? Yeah. You should come to the circus with me. <laughs> she's not that short. Do you think of yourself as that short? I don't think of her as that short. Well, she's small enough. I'm not tall. <laughs> yeah. He's like that guy. I forgot he's me. Like he's a big, tall guy. He's tall. Actually, now that I think about it, he's actually taller than you. I think he was like eight or nine feet tall. And he wore glasses. I know who you're talking about, but I don't remember his name either. But I'm pretty sure he's mentioned in Ripley's Believe It or Not in any museum. Oh, by the way, there is a Ripley's Believe It or Not museum on International Drive in downtown Orlando. Yeah. I like that place. That's a place where circus stars are made famous. Like, what's his name again? I think his name is Jojo the Dog because he's he's a guy who suffers from something called hypertrichosis, which is commonly called werewolf syndrome. And it's not what it sounds like. Really? I thought people turned into werewolves. I think it happened. <laughs> no, it's basically a medical condition where people grow hair on their bodies and it grows super long. Well, he, his did, but people, like, for example, if you were to go on the internet, and if you were to look up hypertrichosis, and if you were to look up Jojo the Dog Man, you would see these people who are completely covered in hair. So that's why they call it werewolf syndrome, because people grow so much hair on parts of their bodies, like their face, it makes them almost look like werewolves. Ow! Who's scared? No! I was howling! I was howling like a wolf. And besides, have you seen this clown? He doesn't get scared. He scares other people. Because he's a creepy monster clown. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm nice? Well, that's because I haven't given you my balloons. You see, my balloons, when they pop, you get blood splattered all over your face. <laughs> that's funny. I don't care who you are, that's funny! <laughs> Sounds like something Larry the Cable Guy would say. That he splatters blood on people's faces? No! Larry the Cable Guy says, I don't care who you are, that's funny right there. And then he goes on to say, if you don't think that's funny, you get that, you, I'm not gonna curse, you get out of here. You're such a limp. You don't curse. I just choose not to curse. And the only time that I do curse is when I'm really mad. So if I stub my toe, I'm dropping the F-bomb. We need to call the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, we live in a time period nowadays where you can't say anything without someone sicking the authorities on you. He said bomb! With the part of a boat. The Netherlands. Countries are weird. I wouldn't say countries, but it's just different cultures and different yeah. societies. You know?
Did she have a big? Not in front of my grandma. No, he was gonna say something else. I just wanted to know if she had big, you know, beanies. Big beanies. If you watch Beavis and Butthead, that means big breasts. Oh, boobs. <laughs> she said boobs. I don't believe it. A grandma said boobs. Oh my gosh. You said boobs. She said boobs. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. Shut up. I can't hear her. What? <laughs> You're 80 years old. You can't be grounded anymore. Well, why not? You gotta be... You gotta be at least 70 years past overdue for being grounded. <laughs> I don't get it. Seriously, I don't get it. But what I can't understand, what really got me was that you, an 80 year old grandmother, said boobs. I was pretty surprised myself. I wouldn't think that such a word would even come out of my grandmother's mouth. It's good. She's one of the most conservative people in the family that I know. Yeah. And you said boobs. <laughs> this is getting weird. Well, you're the one who brought a scary clown into your living room. That's because I'm pretty much a scary movie star wannabe. I'm a Vincent Price wannabe, a Christopher Lee wannabe, a Bela Lugosi wannabe. But when it comes to literature, I'm pretty much an Edgar Allan Poe wannabe. Who's Edgar Allan Poe? <laughs> No, if anyone in this house is Stephen King, I'm Stephen King. I'm Stephen King too. I like him. No, what I mean is I write scary stories. As a matter of fact, I'm writing scary stories right now that would make you go, I can't believe you're my grandson. <laughs> what stories are you writing? I'm not one to uh, spill my secrets right now. I'm pretty much the kind of person who likes to wait to get all my ideas written down, organize them into a story, put them in a manuscript, and try and get them published. Once they get out to the public, then I'll tell you about my books. Oh, no fear! No fear! No fear! <laughs> you know what I also can't believe? Is that you're actually amused by this scary Halloween monster clown. He's nice. Oh, are you? Are you nice? Like I said before, I haven't given you my bloody balloons. No thanks. Well, you just wait. Because I'll get some. I'll fill them up with blood. How... Tell me this. How are you going to fill those balloons up with blood? Shh. I don't need the police on my case. <laughs> I prefer to have a conversation with Ronald McDonald. At least he can provide me with some lunch. I can provide you with lunch too. Yeah, it would make me feel like a cannibal. No, I need wonderful spaghetti. Really? Out of snakes? Oh, it's good. You should try it. You should try my famous snake spaghetti. I'm not trying that either. You guys have no idea what you're missing out on. <laughs> you know, I'll just stick to my fast food, you know? I'll stick to my... Two double whoppers with cheese from Burger King with small fries. Um, my eight piece mild chicken from Popeyes. Two orders of popcorn nuggets and three piece chicken tenders from KFC. Hey, that's unhealthy. You're gonna get a heart attack by the time you reach 50. It's not like I eat fast food all the time. I mean, you can ask this family. I already made a decision pizza. And I'm still deciding, but as far as the movie that we're going to watch, I'm still trying to decide, Cape Fear or Topaz. Jesus or I'm going to watch Topaz or Cape Fear. <laughs> what fun is it to have a movie night if you don't have anyone to share it with? Can I make a suggestion? No. Why? <laughs> Alright. I was, un was I unfair? Was I unfair to him? Yeah. Okay. What what suggestion do you have? Stephen King's it! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
I have it on DVD, the miniseries. Basically, it's about a monster clown, and it was written by Stephen King. It came out in 1990. I got Salem's Lot and Creepshow. We have to watch Creepshow sometime. Sounds like my kind of movie. It is your kind of movie, because it's a movie that's filled with creepy monsters, and you're a creepy monster. So it suits me well. Yeah. Yeah! How about a watch Creepshow? I want to watch Creepshow!